So when rewatching part 2, I realized that I completely forgot to explore one passage here. So it's a 10 cent door and there's a gray cloak and a med kit. Yeah, super. Better load so that I can uh, recover my 10 coins. Really? 10 coins for a gray cloak and a med kit? Yeah, that's better than 10 coins for absolutely nothing like last time, but still, that's not much of a reward, especially at this stage of the game when money is really scarce. So this is the last area of level 4, and the stairs should be right this way. There we are, so now we're going to advance to level 5, find direction. Now. Here's a little trick that you just saw, you press backspace and you recover your life. However, it takes it a toll on the points you've accumulated in this level. Okay, here's the compass. It may have looked like a pizza among all this food, but rest assured it's a compass as you can see in my sort of status bar at the bottom of the screen. So as I was gonna say, um, pressing backspace recovers your energy, but it costs a lot of points depending on uh, on uh, how much energy you have to recover. Like, recovering just a sliver of health is going to cost you half your points, but if you're almost dead, then you're gonna lose j nearly every point you have. I, I, I hate when this happens! And I expect this to be... To be uh, usual because it really happens often in this game since this is a maze game so enemies will often come every which way speaking of enemies this level introduces a new one you've already seen it the sort of red alien thing this is the trademark monster of this game like what goombas are to mario this alien thing is to ken's labyrinth and we're going to meet a lot of these all the way until the end of the game. And as you can see, they're already pretty strong. They take three hits to take down, and they've got those purple blobs that they shoot at you. And here's the fun fact about this game. The very, very first version of this game, which was called Walkin', it has absolutely nothing to do with Christopher Walken, by the way. It's just a contraction of Walk and Ken. But... Whatever, this level right there was the second level in Walton. Same music, same maze and all, only the design of the walls differed. Oh, by the way, those things you just saw with the nets, when you shoot these, they send your projectiles back at you and they hurt you. So, anyways, I was gonna say, this, the second level of that version is what you, you're seeing right now, only the design of the walls and the enemies were different, but otherwise it's the same thing. And as you can see, the huge hallways of uh, the first four levels made way for much more narrow ones, so the maze would be more confusing that way. Like, right now, I, I honestly have no clue where to go, but there are apples, so... No problem, now where do I go? Where the hell do I go? I'm completely lost and this is only a really small, small area inside a secret passage. By the way, as you noticed, this secret passage was found by an indentation in the wall. When it's not a change, a, a, a peculiar thing in the wall, often it's gonna be an indentation in the wall that hides a secret passage. So... Oh yeah, I remember this place, um, right after that part there is a monster, I'm not spoiling what is it, a monster that, that gave me a lot of nightmares as a kid, no joke, so it's that way, but I need the, the, the gold key, which I don't have yet, and here's an extra life, not very well hidden unless you don't know that you can shoot those barrels. I'm gonna save since I haven't saved so far in this video. So here's the room with the gold key, yep. So yeah, there are three coins over there and uh, then I'm gonna go... Whoa, whoa, where did they come from? What the, what's going on? What? I, what just happened? I, I died, but I didn't, I don't know to what exactly I died, but thank goodness I just saved. 
So, yeah, as you can imagine, when you're inside an enemy, so to speak, you really don't have much time to react. You have like a second and a half, two seconds tops, and if you don't react by that time, you're dead. And I was, in that case, not again. Okay. Wait, there's more? Anyways, I was gonna say, if you don't have... The if you don't react within that time, there's no secret passage here. That's weird. Although I suppose this is this was just a hiding place for those aliens. But anyway, if you don't have the time to react, then you're screwed. You're dead and hopefully you just save like I just did. I was really lucky that I had a save uh, 10 seconds earlier. Here's a few more aliens and then the enemy I was talking about, the terrifying enemy. Okay, where is it? Oh, there it is. Yep. That's a giant pool ball! Yeah, the only way to kill these, as you can see, is to drive them down holes. Now, you it's not an obvious thing, but the only way to get past those holes in such narrow hallways is to hug the wall. Like I did the... Like I'm gonna do just now, like that, because if you don't... Oh! Here's more 8 balls. Let's drive them down the hole. There's nothing here. Is there anything over there? Oh, a few coins. I'm gonna grab them. Anyway, the thing is that, as I said, the only way to, to take those downs is to drive them down a hole. And I had a lot of nightmares as a kid uh, of giant fucking pool balls pursuing me and there's nothing I could do about it. And yeah, I, I was easily impressionable back then. Giant pool balls, I don't think many people had nightmares about giant pool balls. Then again, a lot of the dreams we do, whether it was back as a kid or as an adult, they, they rarely ever make sense. So, yeah, if I there are a lot of indentations. Now, there's one of these that is hiding a lightning bolt. So, it's this one, yep. So, here is what, here's what that silver key is for. It wasn't mandatory, but if you want the lightning bolt, you gotta have the silver key. So, a few enemies here. I'm gonna take them down, and after that, I imagine it's going to be the lightning bolt. Nope, can't shoot through those. That's stupid, I can't even shoot through those metal, between the metal bars. And, oh, lots of food. Uh, thank you, I was about to die, and here's a gray cloak. Lots of food. I was really freaking hungry. Have you seen all the meals I, I took in the apples? Alright, uh, there's gotta be a secret passage there. Oh! Right there. Even more aliens. A med kit. Lots of food. And a purple potion. Nope, no secret passage behind the, the can distributor. There are often secret passages behind slot machines or can distributors. Okay. Now another freaking... Another secret passage? Jeez! How many of these are there? It's gotta be the best hidden lightning bolt in the game. Actually, no it's not. It's a lightning bolt that's in fairly plain sight, but there are a lot of moving holes that prevent you from going to it. Yeah, there are moving holes in the game, complete with eyes and all, and all that stuff. So, there's nothing there. Okay, so I'm gonna... Head back through this very extensive network of secret passages. And after that, I am I assume the level's almost over. So, yeah, no enemies there. Got Every time I am going through one of those walkthrough walls, I'm, I, I'm nice thinking job. there's an enemy just waiting to happen. But, okay, level 6. Decisions, decisions. Now the whole level is a freakishly huge maze, which hides uh, the first bouncer, among other things. Uh, but the highlight is at the end of the level, when you have five shoot this wall uh, passages, and if you open the wrong one, you get uh, an ass load of uh, pool balls down your throat, with little in the way of holes to uh, send them down. So, yeah, I'm, I'm just guessing, uh, as you can imagine, as to where to go. Okay, so here's the the moving hole. What was going on? Okay, so those are spiders that were 
hiding in the corner. So yeah, that was the moving hole. Here's the secret passage. Whoa! Yeah, nothing. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey! What the hell happened? I'm gonna rewatch that and continue, but next time.